a, f a couple of videos ago, I made a video on how to deal with abusive people. Okay, so there's two versions of that. There's one when it's personal, one on one. And then there's one where, where where you're in public. Okay, so what if you're in public? What if you someone let's say has a meltdown and takes it out on you, right, for no reason, just decides to lose it on you, right? What do you do when someone like that does that to you in public? Okay, so it, it is kind of different because if it's one on one, just between you and it, that's only ones that know. But when it's in public, then everybody else around you know. So, what do you do? Basically, the same thing as, as if it's one on one. You cannot capitulate to darkness. Okay, if that person is sending you darkness, you cannot send it back to them. You have to send own. You don't have, you're not so much that you're sending it to them, is that you cannot send darkness. You, you must focus on experiencing light within you, okay, and deal with it in a light fashion. If you want to send positive energy to that person, what, that, 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 that's cool, there's nothing wrong with that, that helps. But if anything, if all you can do is not send darkness, all you can do is experience peace and light within yourself, then that is good as well. The other one's a higher level, which totally awesome but if you can't do that make sure you're stable with, 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 with within yourself now why am I, am I saying this because it happened to me the the the, the, the other day and then I had certain thoughts you know what are other people thinking about me the way I'm dealing with this the way I'm dealing with it are they thinking I'm weak or I'm afraid and this and that that's nothing that I can deal. I can. I can. That I have control over, or I have freedom over. That is their perception. That is their thoughts. Nothing I can do about that. All I can do is what I can do for my myself. Now, if they're like that other person there, they're abusive. Then yeah, they'll probably think that you're weak, or in my case, that I was weak. I was afraid. It's not, which is not even true. It's just I dealt with it in a positive fashion. At their level of intelligence, they may not realize that. They may see something different. That's nothing you, you, you got no freedom over that. You can't control their thoughts. You got no freedom over their thoughts. So you're going to have to understand that if this happens in public, okay? Now, in public, every situation is different. So you're going to have to deal with that differently for every situation as well. Um, so yeah, like, um, so basically for me, how I dealt with it, I just I just thought about making a video about it, sharing with all of you. It kept me from falling into into in, into that trap. I kept my vibration high. Um, that individual, you know, what I mean, I don't deal with with negative people. It's not being mean. It's just it's a negative person, so I don't inter interact with negative people. So that's another that's another tool that you have, right? You don't have to deal with with the negative people. If they're mean to you, then that's that's them. Just don't deal with them. Okay. So that's another tool that that's another that's how I'm dealing with it, and basically that, that that's it. Like I just understand they're in a dark place. It's nothing to do with me. It's their business, not mine. If other people want to sit there, law that think that I'm weak or this, not that's their choice. They're in a dark place as well. It's nothing to do with me. So nothing I can do about it. All I can do is stay strong for myself and be an expression of God. That's it. Be an expression of the light, and remember. Never bend, ascend, right? Never bend to the darkness because what's, what, what, like if you, if someone says darkness to you, let's say in public, you feel embarrassed or you feel like, oh, people are looking at how you're going to deal with it. If you send darkness back, right, and then, then, then that person will send darkness back to you, do you, and it will just explode. How does that help? Okay? Sure, it's not fun. Maybe you're thinking that they're thinking bad things about you or whatever. Okay, whatever. What choice do you have? Send darkness back, that's not an option. The only thing you can do is be an expression of God, an expression of light on this planet, and whatever else happens, that's not in your control. You don't have the freedom to control anybody else's business. They want to perceive you that way, that's their choice. Just make sure your perception of yourself is healthy, and that's all you really can do. Okay, so anyways, hope this helps. Um, do the best you can. Remember, never, never capitulate the darkness. The way you deal with it may may not be the greatest, right? This is new for a lot of, for for all of us, but deal with it in as positive as you can. That way, you're not capitulating to darkness. 
That way you don't carry this negative energy inside you. Because remember, that person had to feel that darkness before they sent it to you. Okay? So, yep. So they deteriorated their beingness, their physical body. If you do the same thing to them, you're just hurting yourself. So, is it really what you want to do? I don't think so. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there for now. Have a pleasant day, and we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.